Taking things into their own hands. Questions surrounding the actions of BC drivers Thursday morning during a protest on Vancouver's Ironworkers Bridge. Demonstrators with Save Old Growth blocked southbound lanes just after 7 a.m. This video circulating online capturing what appears to be frustrated drivers getting out of their vehicles and physically dragging protesters from the road. People will get angry and people will potentially get physical and violent. And this is something that people who get on the road are aware of and prepared for. And ultimately, people who were protesting were arrested. This was the latest in a string of demonstrations staged by Save Old Growth. In the video, Vancouver police can be seen arriving on the bridge. Zane Hack, co-founder of the organization, says he's disappointed that from what he's heard, police did not address the people who were dragging demonstrators. Police say one person was arrested, a 24-year-old woman taken to jail on charges of mischief and intimidated on a roadway. BPD did not comment on the commuter's involvement, instead releasing a statement that says in part, demonstrators who block vital pieces of infrastructure like bridges and major intersections put themselves in danger and create a safety risk for the rest of the public. They want to provoke anger from citizens. That's not how you affect change in a civil society. Strong words coming from BC Premier John Horgan who says blocking roadways is not the way to get the public on your side. I'm profoundly disappointed that these small group of people are so self-absorbed and think so highly of their opinions and their so-called rights that they feel it's okay to intrude in the rights of other British Columbians. I reject it categorically, and I'm hopeful that there will be consequences for their actions, significant consequences. The group has rallied several times on highways and bridges in recent weeks, often completely shutting down routes. Organizers have previously said it is calling for an end to logging of old-growth forests in B.C., Hack maintains the goal is for the demonstrators to get their message out in a non-violent way. So we have regular non-violence trainings and so people who get on the road have been through those trainings where we engage in role play of someone pretending to be an angry driver. And so it's something that when they're on the road, they're very cool and calm because they've actually been through that sort of uh, training and they've sort of actually embodied that in some way. Police say in addition to disrupting rush hour traffic, the incident also caused a minor car collision. Ashley Burr, City News.